But if you guys send me something, like I don't care what it is, it could be anything. I will feature it on the channel. I don't care. Because y'all are more important than these companies are, for real. Let's be honest. Yep! I'm Blaze Cheese Nugs. That's a, a, a nickname suggestion that was given us given it to us a year ago. Three months. Three months ago? I thought it was like a year ago, and they were like, in, in a year, use this. No, they said in three months. In three months, use this. There you go. We used it. And today, one of y'all sent me a birthday present, and I'm super excited to open it. I just got back from the post office, and I we just wanted, I want to open this right now because I want to see what you guys sent me. But first, I haven't smoked yet today, so I want to smoke first, and... Uh, I figured we could try some of these Gush Mints Cured Resin by the homies over at Wildflower. It's got a cherry diesel sweet smell to it apparently. It's a Cured Resin BHO. And uh, I figured we could try it in this, this honey cup real quick by the homies over at Wax Made. They sent this out a while ago with a couple of their other stuff. It comes with a honey cup e-rig, a dab tool, USB-C cable, quartz coil, four cotton swabs, and four quartz balls. <laughs> balls. I think they mean um, turp pearls, but they're calling them quartz balls for whatever reason. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you open it up, some stuff's gonna be behind the main thing and some stuff's gonna be the main thing. And then there's also like a small instruction manual. We'll go over that stuff soon. Inside this little plastic bag, you got your four quartz balls or turp pearls. Uh, you got for Q-tips, they're calling them cotton swabs. I guess we call them cotton swabs. I think Q-tips technically like a brand name anyway. And you got a USB-C type charger, so it's USB-C. Uh, in here, something I actually love that Wax Made does is they've included not only just our cup that looks like a, a cup supposed to look cupish, but also two two separate atomizers, which I love. I I feel like a lot of companies have gotten away from from giving you like excess atomizers, like an extra atomizer, but uh, it looks like it just screws in here. Boom, like that. It's got a little top that opens. It accidentally opened on me. I didn't mean to open it, it just opened. It screws in like that forever. Just keep screwing in until it's nice and tight. Boom. This is, this is what it's gonna look like when it's all put together. Let's fill this up with some water. We're gonna take a quick hit. And then we'll open my birthday present because my birthday is coming up soon. My birthday is really soon. It's like almost my birthday. Anyway, cheers. Delicious. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's kind of cool. I forgot to put the turp pearls in, I just realized. <laughs> oh well. I mean, it works nice. It looks like it has like a little bit of like uh, slotted air th airflow on the top and in the, in the atomizer part, it looks like maybe this will get your turp pearls spinning. The atomizer is just like a little quartz bucket with a, like a wire inside of it that heats it up. I'm. Not like the biggest fan of this kind of coil, but also like, I, I'm, I'm like a, a ceramic kind of guy, I think, for especially for E-Rigs, but uh, these don't work bad. They're they're not bad at all, actually. They they get the job done. I don't, I don't think they run that much money, honestly. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. Five clicks turns it on, goes through like a little 20 second preheat thing, and then put your wax in there 
two times to start a cycle. The cycles are pretty short, I think maybe like 20 seconds or so. And then you can hold it down if you want to do like a manual mode type hit. Uh, three clicks changes the power setting. It's uh, green is the bottom and then blue and then like, I think honey colored because it's wax made. I think it's like a like a honey colored thing. It's, it's like gold yellowy. Full disclosure, this, this part is all plastic. Plastic here, kind of silicone here, silicone here. Obviously glass down here, if you're wanting like material wise. I don't think this is like, I don't think this is metal. It doesn't feel metal. As a, a, ASMR flip. I'm not good at that. We're never gonna do that again. <laughs> <laughs> not a huge fan of this cap. I feel like, although it stays in, in place when you're using it, I feel like it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna, you know what I mean? Like it feels, it feels super flimsy. Steps but, into place too easy. Almost, like, I don't know, I just feel like you could super easily knock this off by accident. Like when you were turning it? Yeah. Putting it on and it popped open? Yeah, exactly. Like that. Like, I feel like very easy to come off. Or like just not be all the way on. It's very but, easy to get off. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> but also Danny says um, it's very smooth. So, I don't know. It is. Up to y'all. But that's, that's pretty much everything. This all comes apart for cleaning purposes. Even the stem comes out so you can clean the stem. Uh, if you fill the water up too high, you're gonna be drinking it. I, I, dr I drank it a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I guess I had filled it up slightly too much. Just, just like a hair, but uh, if you want one of these, I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description, or not in the description, in the comment section, because if I put it in the description, YouTube will hate me forever. Did I mention, I think I forgot to put the tur pearls in? Whoops. <laughs> anyway, now that I'm like on a better level, I'm super excited to see what, what my homie Mallory sent me. Uh, if you see her down in the comment section, she goes by Ivy's Herbs on YouTube and Discord. Big thank you, I haven't even opened it yet, but a thank you anyway, because it's so kind. I think this is the first thing that we've ever had sent in to our PO box by like an actual person. If you guys want to get featured on the channel, my PO box, is in is in the, the comment the, the description <laughs> that's in the description i'm allowed to put that one in the description but if you guys send me something like i don't care what it is it could be anything i will feature it on the channel i don't care because y'all are more important than these companies are for real let's be honest let's open this up though i'm so excited <laughs> it's technically my first birthday present because <coughs> my birthday is in a little while so Let's see what let's see what's in here. Okay, first of all, we got some wrapping papers. Put that to the side. We got so much stuff in here. Okay, there's actually like a bunch of stuff. Is this just packing stuff? Okay, I think this is just to keep everything together. Hopefully, because I just threw it. Cute as shit. All right, there is like a little letter and like another box. To flip and Danny, I made this. Hi. Sweet, what is that? I can't read what that says. A while back, okay. And thought, oh, not okay. And thought y'all would love it. Also, just got into making 3D Pokemon cards. Hope you like it. Ivy's what? Herbs. That's fucking dope. What? Oh my gosh. This way, this way. Look how cute this is. How fucking cute is this little guy? Oh I'm not well versed on anything other than Gen 1 Pokemon, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm not quite sure who this is. What? Go ahead. No. I thought the Pokemon card. This is a 3D Pokemon card in yeah. here. But this is a high, a high succulent. That's what she said. A succulent. Oh <laughs> that my God, is it's high. so cute. <laughs> It's not that your handwriting is bad. You actually have really nice handwriting. I'm just bad at reading. I'm illiterate. <laughs> anyway, I'm super hyped to see this 3D fucking Pokemon card. This sounds so fucking cool. My Loki, my son gets me a Pokemon card almost every year for either Hanukkah, Christmas, or my birthday. It's usually a Charizard. <laughs> well, let's see. The, oh, oh, shit. Crap. This is so cool. It's a Litwick, Holy which is... It makes sense. Litwick, you know what I mean? That's the coolest Candle, Pokemon card I've ever seen. This is so fucking dope. 
This is cool shit. This is definitely going like, I have to put this somewhere. Like I have to put this somewhere cool. Also Jordan is gonna fucking flip shits when he sees this. Yeah. He's going to flip shits. This is the coolest thing I have. That is flip so a coin cool. if if heads the defending Pokemon's now burned. Hmm, that's cool. I love this. Holy crap, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that's so awesome. I deserve thank you so much. Um this is this is all going up. You're gonna see you're gonna I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to put this somewhere in the background that people will be able to see it. This is definitely going to the background. Like people are gonna see this every fucking video. I fucking love this. I love everything about this. Thank you so much. Like, ah, uh, <laughs> happiness. <laughs> happiness has overcame me. <laughs> this is fucking great. This is starting out to be the best birthday I've had in years, even though, I'm going to be old this year. <laughs> Very old. Take a guess if you can guess my age in the comment section, I'll heart your comment. But only one guess per person. I don't want just someone being like, you know what I mean? Like, bah, 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 every that's fucking age. If you do that, if, if you do that, that's cheating. That's cheating and I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna heart the comments, but if it, whoever gets it right, whoever the first person is that gets it right that doesn't have like 40,000 guesses, I'll, I'll, I'll heart that comment. And then y'all will know how old I really am. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna go look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get high and stare at this some more. Thank you so much. This is fucking dope. Litwick. Also, name your favorite Pokemon in the comment section. Any Pokemon will do. If it's your favorite, it's your favorite. I wanna know everyone's favorite Pokemon. Or if you hate Pokemon and you're a weird person, what's your favorite Digimon? <laughs> or Yu-Gi-Oh. Or Yu-Gi-Oh. True, what do you call Yu-Gi-Oh cards? I guess monsters. I haven't watched Yu-Gi-Oh since I was a kid. I have no idea. I've never watched Yu-Gi-Oh. Or Digimon. I was a Pokemon person. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you so much again. I love y'all and I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Also, isn't it weird that people that do, do hearts like, like, I don't even know how the fuck, how does that even, like. I can't do it either. Oh wait, did I, did I get it? Ouch, that hurts it, my, my it, pointers. I don't know how to do it, I just. I can't uh, do it. <laughs>